Okay, so hi guys and welcome back to another video. And today I have an absolutely massive ASOS haul. So this is just a collation of everything that I've picked up from the January winter sales. I picked up some amazing bits that I'm so excited to show you. So before we get into this video, make sure that you like and subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so you'll be alarmed when I upload any of the content. Follow me on Instagram and let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is all the shoes that I picked up because they have such a good sale on their shoes and boots. So, You'll see a bit of a running theme here with the black and white. Everything I get in black, I have to get in the white version as well. So the first thing that I picked up were these from the Truffle collection. And I actually can't tell which is the left from right. I actually can't tell at all. Um, but I got a pair of these gorgeous, chunky snow boots. I think they're dupes for moon boots, but obviously moon boots are like ridiculously expensive. These were £56 reduced to 32 and they were really good, sturdy snow boot as well. I don't have any snow boots and when it snowed in December, I had to wear my Air Forces and I completely wrecked them. So I was like, I need some cute snow boots. I mean, normally it snows in January, but it hasn't been. So hopefully it does so I can get the use out of these gorgeous snow boots. And then of course, I also picked them up in the white pair as well. I think these ones are my favorite. They are so, so adorable. I definitely think I'm gonna go back and pick up a second pair of these because my sister is going ice for her birthday at the end of January and I definitely think that she would look so cute in a pair of these as well what they look like on my foot how chunky and cute are they okay and the next thing I picked up is actually really random but I kind of love it um, I'm not sure if these are still in fashion but I know like six months ago the cowboy boots were like very much the thing and I couldn't find a pair of cowboy boots that I liked they were all just a bit like outdated for my liking and then I came across this gorgeous pair on ASOS. It's from a brand called Stradivarius. I cannot pronounce that. That is what the brand's called. And it's just this gorgeous pair of Western cowboy boots. And I love the like Western pattern that's all on them with the little details on the boots here. And these were quite expensive. They were 60 pounds, but they were reduced in the sale to 34. And because obviously that's such a good deal, they didn't have my size five. So I did go down to a size four and they are just a smidge too tight. But I think it's because the shoe is obviously like so structured but i think we can hopefully break into them and ellis actually bought me these you'll see in sunday's upload ellis actually surprised me with these so stay tuned for sunday's upload okay and then like i said everything i get in white i have to get in black so <laughs> i picked up the black version of these boots as well these are exactly the same as the other ones, but just obviously in the black colorway. Um, these ones were not in the sale, though I did have to pay the full like 57 something pounds for them. Um, but I just thought I'd like to have like both options for the boots. And I did have to get these ones in a four as well. So I don't want to spoil too much of Sunday's upload, but basically Ellis knew that I was buying these as part of the ASOS haul. And then with some of the clothes that I'm going to show you in a bit, I was like, oh my gosh, they look amazing with white cowboy boots. And then Ellis obviously surprised me to these ones, but I thought I'd just show them in this video because they both were from ASOS. So yeah, that's all the shoes that I picked up from ASOS. I love to get like exactly the same, but in black and white, just because it just matches with absolutely everything. Now it's time to delve into all the clothes. That is a lot. I don't actually think I've ever been as excited for a haul as I am right now. Okay, so the first outfit I'm gonna show you is the one that I thought would match the white cowboy boots the nicest. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Okay, guys, so this is an embellished, like acid kind of wash oversized leather jacket. And look at all the jewels on there. Oh my gosh, I am in love. I thought this would look so cute with like a crop top underneath and just having it like big baggy and oversized. So this was £75, so I think it is the most expensive item of the haul. And I got it in extra small just because it obviously is oversized but oh my gosh i'm so excited to try that on that's so gorgeous i've never been a fan of all denim outfits but something about this just absolutely has my heart oh my gosh it is the matching mini skirt that is like the cutest outfit i have ever seen imagine that with like a cute little crop top or bralette under it 
with the white cowboy boot oh my gosh so i did have to get this skirt in a medium because obviously it's denim i thought i don't really want to take my chances with the extra small or small i'd rather have it too big than too like tight so i did pick it up in a medium and it was 40 pounds as well so these two items weren't in the sales but i just thought they were so adorable i had to pick it up they had like the entire set in black as well um, but they didn't have my size so i thought we'll, we'll try like a more acid wash i've never really had this color denim before and i thought it was stunning so let's give it a go oh my gosh i hate and i mean hate when i love everything because i can just hear the sound of my bank account draining but oh my gosh yes this is literally just my two pound top um, I'm not going to show it again, just because this is just what it looks like, yep. Oh, this was so expensive, this outfit. This is like 75 and this is 40. But how cute does this look? Oh my gosh. This is a stunning outfit. And now I'm com now I'm literally contemplating whether to get it in the black. And I can't do this because I'm going to be so broke. Oh my gosh. This is everything okay and then the next thing is from Topshop I absolutely love that Topshop is on ASOS because I miss that shop so much but basically um if you guys are following me on Instagram you know that finally Rome was sorted we got the confirmation through um yay amazing so 100% going Rome so I went on ASOS had a look in the sales and found some gorgeous summer dresses so this Topshop dress was 56 pounds reduced to 39 and oh it looks a little bit big because the only size they had left in it was a 10 and i'm normally a six to eight in dresses um but it is like a puffball one so hopefully i can get away with the sizing so it's like this puffy dress that has like polka dots all over it and it's kind of like a baby doll one the way that it goes out but you tie it up at the back so hopefully i can get away with it being a size too big i love this dress so much I definitely could have done with an eight. Like it's very saggy around my waist and it ties at the back. So I've tried to get Ellis to tie it like as much as he could. But there's just so much excess around the waist. So maybe I could get it altered. It reminds me of the Wednesday dress. Do you know the one that's going viral where she's like, dun 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 um, I think I get away with it though. Like it's not ob like massively obvious that it's big, but I don't think it's the vibe, like, it's not the vibe that I wanted it for, like, it's definitely not Rome. Like, I still think I could get away with wearing this here in England, but I don't think it's, like, a Rome kind of thing. And then this next dress was from Topshop as well, and I branched out a little bit. I kind of am liking the colour green at the moment, and this was reduced from £45 to £22, which I thought was an amazing bargain. I got it in a size 8. I can't lie, the material doesn't feel the nicest, but it could look good on. So it's just this little cut-out floral rose dress. Like, the front of it's a bow. It's just a cute little mini dress. Thought that would just look really cute wandering around Rome in summer. Oh, no, I got this in a 10, apparently. They must not have had an 8. But, yeah, really love the, like, colour scheme of this and everything. So very excited to give that a go. Right, okay, this Topshop dress, um, I'm not too sure how to feel about it. It looks really nice in the camera, but in the mirror it looks awful. Um, I feel like my chest isn't big enough to be given like this the proportion that it needs. I think like, the whole bow element of it is really pretty. Um, the material does feel a bit rubbish though. Like I definitely feel like it, the dress itself won't look nice after like one wear. I'm just overall not sure how I feel about it. I do think the colour looks very nice with my hair. I do think the colour is gorgeous. Love this top bit. I just feel like the rest of it looks a little bit out of place. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments because it was really cheap. It was like 20 It was like 20 pounds. I don't know if it's worth keeping or not, just in case I grow to like it. Yeah, I'm really not sure about this one. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Moving on. Um, I swear ASOS sizing is weird just because there's so many different brands. So this next top I had to get in a size 4 because it's like a kind of silk one. And I know I have to go like the smallest size possible with like silk tops. Um, like the inside silk, the rest is fluffy. But I thought this would be so good for like the upcoming, well it is winter. But like it's a cute little like cami baby doll top but it's fluffy. 
And like that screams like snow and winter to me. So I got this one in a UK four, like I said, I do have to go really small in these tops, otherwise they start to sag around my chest. And it was 38 pounds, so quite pricey. Um, but I, I fell in love with it when I saw it. I basically just typed in baby doll dresses um, because I was looking for the ones for Rome because I like that shape on me. And I saw this top and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. It is so cute. Okay, so this is the baby doll fluffy top. I love this so much. I'm so glad that I decided to go down to the size four because it is still slightly like a bit loose around my chest, but nothing I can't deal with. And I actually just feel like an ice princess in this. Like the way that the light bounces off it, it is so gorgeous i wish i actually found this earlier because i think this would be perfect for like a boxing day outfit or christmas eve so i do wish i actually found this earlier but i think i'll be wearing this a lot to go for like meals and stuff definitely one of my top things from this haul if your build is similar to mine and you're a little bit like there's not much going on on your chest literally get the smaller size that is otherwise it sags but i feel like this one fits me very nicely i also appear to have an item missing i did order this which i'm really sad about i ordered this like crystal top um but it's not shown up so i'm gonna have to email them about that which is so annoying um but the next thing that i bought is this top from monkey or something and um, i've heard very good things about this I swear I've seen someone on Instagram wear this. This is why I was like so drawn to it. Um, but I got this in an extra small and it was £25. But just look at the way the light bounces off it. I swear I saw a girl with like a whole set of this with a midi skirt and she looks stunning. But I could only find the top. I really wanted to give that a go. And it has like all the components I like as well. It has lettuce frill. I love this style of top. Um, it's just the colour that's a little bit adventurous. But I definitely feel like it's something that I could like. Um, whoa, okay. Um, I feel just like a, a glam robot. I do like the shape that it gives me. I love the lettuce frill of it all. Um, I even love the gold undertones that it has, but just overall, I just don't like being this loud. Like, I think everyone would look at me when I walked into a room and that is just not the vibe that I like. Also, I don't think it looks as good with darker hair. The girl that I saw this set on had gorgeous platinum blonde hair and I just think it complemented her hair colour a lot better. I feel like it doesn't look as good with mine. I like it overall, I just think it's very loud for me. I don't want to spend £25 on a top that I'm like most likely not going to be wearing i think if this is very much your style like barbie pink is not my style if i wear pink it has to be something a little bit more subtle um so yeah but if pink is really your style this is stunning uh just i just don't think it's for me really okay the next two tops i picked up are from a brand called collusion and these were two pounds in the sale so i was like i've, ju I've just got to grab them like they're just gonna be such good staple tops i'll just show you one um, this is the white one. It's literally just a over-the-shoulder lettuce frill crop top. Um, and then I got it in the black as well. I got them both in an eight and two pounds. Two friggin' pounds. I thought, yep, you're coming home with me. And then that top hasn't turned out, which I'm so annoyed about. I was really looking forward to that. But the last thing I picked up was in the sale. It was £70 reduced to 32 and I've had my eye on this for quite a while, but I was like, oh, I don't want to pay £70 for it. So I snatched it up in a sale. But this is a very much my vibe. It's a trench coat, which I've been wanting a trench coat for ages. But it's like a half nude, half black one. How cool is that? I feel like I could style this in such a cool way. Um, you'll see it better on, but it literally just is a belted trench coat all the way down but two like different neutrals and like my favorite neutrals as well. So I think I could style this so well. I'm so excited to try this on. And I got this in a UK six as well because trench coats are really like long on me. Um, so yeah, I had to put this one up in a six. Okay guys, so this is the trench coat. I really love the opposing neutrals on both sides. I think it's very different. And for the price I got it for, I think it's stunning. It's just, everything is just so big on me. This is the smallest size they do, and it just kind of eats me up a little bit. I think I will keep it, because if I think if I had like a really bulky jumper under it, I think it'd be really cute. Um, but like when I tie it up, it feels like very big around like the shoulders and at the back as well. I know the camera angle isn't great, but it's literally just the same 
all the way down. The length is actually really good considering I'm like five foot two. I think I will keep it. The pockets fit at also a good length for me as well. So it is fitting lengthwise. It just does feel slightly a little bit too bulky, but I suppose it could be an option for wearing like really thick jumpers underneath. I think it is a very cute design and to get my hands on it for like more than half price like i'm pretty happy with it overall to be honest okay guys so that is everything that i picked up from this asos haul i really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to like and subscribe turn the notification bell on so you'll be alarmed when i upload any other content follow me on instagram and i'll see you very soon for another video thank you bye <laughs>